And seeing how I'm in the mood to repair things today, uh, I'm going to install the piece of aluminum that runs across the bottom here. Uh, it's going to have to take a seal because this part is completely missing off the van. Used to have it all the way around. Uh, this is what I'm going to use here. I showed you in a different video uh, way before. That's basically what I'm going to use in uh, silicone with black silicone the seal into there. Cut this to length. I don't really know what else to do. And it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go make some cuts now. Oh, just got interrupted by a little bit of dinner, but I have cut the bar, notched it. Look at that terrible. That's just how it broke. I, I notched here and then I just kind of wiggled with the pliers. What are we worried about? I'm not going to be able to see any of that anyways. Same thing on this side. And uh, unfortunately I'm out of time now because dinner's over and there's a million things to do after dinner. So you'll have to see the rest of the video upon, or the rest of the filming upon the morrow when I uh, hopefully get time to fasten it to the bottom of the van there. I also got to get rid of this, this junk here because I got a, got a black one. Got a black one. I think that looks way better, right? It's aluminum as well, I think. But anyways, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. What the fuck? In the middle of the parking lot? Oh, it's, it's better looking. All right. So let's uh. Let's continue with putting this on. Some idiot harassing the sheep in a Hummer, yelling "ba" out the window like the sheep is gonna care. Guess they don't get enough attention in their Hummer. Well, look at me, I got a Hummer. I got a freaking Hummer. Okay, the black ledge. Gonna fasten Mr. Aluminum on there. Uh, I'm gonna get it all set up and be right back. So oh, this is how we roll little bag of uh, hardware here. I'm going to use self tappers Robinson on the back because I am Canadian. And I got some uh, washers just in case I can't get it to sit flush against this because uh, this is thing, you know, it's got bumps and lumps and, and the whole works. So I'm going to give that a wipe down but I'm going to need both hands anyways to, uh, to at least get the first screw in unless Adele shows up. So, I'm holding it in place. Uh, I'm going to uh, put the first screw in. Okay, so there's the first screw in. Driven in by this by rubber toes Ryobi. Because the other ones aren't here right now. And I'm going to put the second screw in and continue on. Alright, so it's a piece of piss for a man of my caliber. All installed the aluminum channel. Now we're going to do a test. We're going to shut the door and, and see the clearance on it. You can see down there. That's friggin' perfect. Friggin' perfect back you can't see nothing anyways yeah that is perfect okay I'm gonna put the rubber on and see what happens it's not the right length but it's scrap and it's all I got for now so uh, if you don't like it too bad no not that way So this one length is in there. You can see it. It's it's, it's a mile short, uh, about a foot. But anyways, you can see that it goes over the one, like the channel. It's got two, and the other one, like one, two. It just goes over that. It's the same stuff I used right here when I replaced the seal on this. So I can order it. I know that. 
but I'm a cheap get and I don't want to order it. So you can see why I made that notch. It's to allow this to kind of like bend down in there. You see that's bent down in there? So now, give this a trim on 45, in the same angle this is sitting. Just trim it. Then black silicone it. I think she's golden. I'll probably paint the aluminum black so it doesn't look like a friggin' sore thumb. But uh, okay. Let's do a test with the door shut, if it even works on the rubber. Uh oh. See, that's no good. It already ripped it. I seen it rip. That little bit of what looks like white is actually the aluminum. But it ripped it. You see it ripped it. What are those kids stealing about? Alright, open the door back up and see what kind of damage we did. Freaking gorgeous day. You see it? I did. Huh. Well, I guess you can't see it. Look at that. Oh, that's why we're trying. That's why it's trial and error. Maybe if I on the way I thought would have been wrong at first. What if I put it this way on? Then it's lower. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's installed the uh, opposite way. Looks a lot better actually. I should have maybe went with this to begin with. But if you look under here, it fits into the channel. Divinely. Heavenly. Just heavenly. Too bad it was too short. Hate having to buy things. Hate it. Give that the old nip tuck right here. A little bit of a nip and then a tuck. Or pull it back a bit. I'm gonna pull it back a bit. So yeah, pulled it back so this hits in now. A whole bunch of silicone's gonna have to go there though. Let's do a trial with it this way and see if it rips to shit. That's good. I wonder. I'm not gonna be able to see any, but I wonder if you guys can see anything under there. I'll have to check the footage later. Let's see if uh, what it looks like on the inside. Looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Let's see the. Uh, the damage, if any. You can see that it touched all here because it's dirty. That's awesome. It's okay that it touched because it compressed. This is good. I'm happy. Silicone. Order a longer piece. Install properly. Another redneck repair done right. Yeah, buddy. Well, look at my antique. This is mine. My, my new old one. This survived a house fire, my friends. I pulled it out myself. And then Kyle, K for Kyle D, and Mr. Silver Fox, a.k.a. Steve, they uh, demoed the house with their, uh, my dad's parents, my grandparents. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll restore that one day. Not that I know how, but do I really know how to do anything? We always make it work. <laughs>